What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Rambo Lee and my wife Rambo Wife and we're back at y'all with another part on this amazing book series that we got going for y'all the four agreements. Right now we are on chapter two which is being impeccable to your word. So before we get into this make sure y'all go below subscribe to the channel like this video and share this video because we are spreading positivity to everybody in our community and around us. All right so let's get into it baby. You're gonna start us off. Don't forget that this video was brought to you and sponsored by The Way of the Midlands. Alright, so the four agreements this week was about being impeccable to your word. Being impeccable to your word means M, which is from the Latin root not, and the impeccable means to sin, so not being a sinner to your word. Now, in religious terms, that means don't do certain things, and it kind of works the same way in this book. Being impeccable to your word means sharing positive thoughts, thinking positive about yourself. Being impeccable to your word means not gossiping. Now, it's not saying not to tell the truth, but it's saying to be positive in your language and what you're spreading about other people and yourself. Because remember, our words are like little seeds. So whatever we plant grows. If you're always telling your child, you can't sing, you can't sing, the child's going to grow up and believe that they can't sing like people did to me. But I can sing. Babe, <laughs> you can't sing. See, that's not being impeccable to this word. Well, that's me being honest to her because she can't <laughs> sing. <laughs> see, me, see, me personally, that's what I got to work on because... I got this thing where I can be overly honest to people, and people don't like it, but I'm no, just telling the truth. He's just completely honest, so if you don't want 100% complete honesty, don't ask me. you better not talk to him. Because I, mm, I, I've hurt feelings, I have lost friends, but hey, I'm just telling them the truth then. He's being impeccable to his word. I'm being a good friend, being honest with you. So the next thing is that the seeds, they grow. So if you tell a child you're ugly, or if you tell a person you're fat, you're lazy, you're not smart, they're going to eventually believe what they hear. They're going to eventually act in the way that you tell them. That's why you have to spread love and positivity, not only to others, but to yourself as well. Look internally. If you think I'm too big, or I don't like the way I look, then you do something about it. But don't let the world say that you're you're fat. Don't let the world say that your nose is too big. We have big, beautiful noses, lips, hips, all of the above. Uh, so remember that too. And lastly, being impeccable to your word means that you are you are who you believe you are so get in that mirror we want the challenge this week to be for seven days one week you can start on sunday sunday to sunday find seven daily affirmations that speak positivity to you that speak positivity to your body your mindset your feelings and watch in those seven days how you respond watch in those seven days how you grow and watch how people will migrate towards you and your positivity because you can't be positive up to others if you're not positive to yourself. Right. You have to be an example to exactly. everybody around you. And things things and blessings will gravitate your way. Right. Um, I promise you that. Not and only with that being said, yeah, stop interrupting me, baby. I'm sorry. But with that being said, you have to use your words wisely. Mm -hmm. But don't let people put you down either. Because for people that say you can't sing, there's somebody out there that likes it. <laughs> I don't think anybody likes my singing. Look, that was a look, joke. No, but like first, look at Ice JJ Fish. Oh. Everybody was picking on him at first. 
He maybe can't sing to a lot of people, but somebody out there saw something in him. Right. And there's a lot of bad actors out there. But hey, somebody saw a, something in them and they gave them a chance. So you never know who's watching. Also remember, um, there's this thing in the world called karma. And I really believe in it. I really think it's a thing. So if you're always speaking positivity, remember that that positivity and all of that stuff positively. <laughs> That positivity is going to come back to you. It's going to manifest and bring you so much love and joy and and everything that you need. Um, Malik knows that sometimes I stand in the mirror and I may not have too much on. And I just look in the mirror, but in my head, I'm saying positive things to myself. Like, girl, you beautiful. Girl, your soup was so cute. Girl, you delivered a baby out of this body. You know, and just I reaffirm myself because to anybody else, I may not be pretty, but to me, I'm fine. I don't care what nobody else say. And that's all that matters okay, to me. You're getting a little aggressive. Relax. Oh. Relax. <laughs> that's all that matters to me. Yeah, um, and so... Do you have anything else to add, my sweet honey? I'm going to still be me. But if you don't like brutal honesty, please don't ask me a question. It's like, it, I don't know what other, what other way to be. I have all friends over being overly honest, but hey, that's, I see it as part of life. But I see those as people that didn't, I didn't need around me. All right, baby, close up. Right, remember seven daily affirmations this week every single day this week also next week there's going to be a giveaway for this chapter for being impeccable to your word so if you dm us and show us via picture via email you can literally type it in the comment section what your daily affirmations were for seven days then you will get something special from us and way of the middle all right y'all we out peace, peace.